subscribe to our youtube channel for in-depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates Hello and welcome to Nirmal Bang, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hiral Dadia. We have with us Kunal Shah, Head of Commodities Research, joining in. Kunal, welcome to the show. My first question coming to you is with regards to where the dollar index goes. It's regained the 93 mark. We are seeing daily highs uh, yet again. It's the fading stimulus prospects as well as the pandemic fears that something which is sustaining the dollar as well. Uh, from your own, what's the kind of moves that you're expecting with regards to where the dollar index goes? Because with this, you know, we are seeing some bit of an impact that's coming in with regards to gold as well. Yeah, so first of all, our view continues to be an upbeat on gold, gold and silver. But uh, like you rightly pointed out, the stimulus deal size when it is going to, uh, what is the size? So from last Monday, we are hearing that in next two days, there will be a particular deal and it's already, already seven days and there are no evidence of any deal taking place. And it seems that if it doesn't go on in today's session, then I think most likely it will, sentimentally that is uh, bearish. So maximum downside what we see in silver and gold is to the tune of 60,500 and 50,300, 400 in gold. But beyond that, I don't see uh, any any possibility of major crash because eventually the stimulus is going to come no matter what happens. Correct. Whatever is happening in Europe is not uh, uh, is something, you know, very encouraging for gold. So in Europe, second wave of coronavirus crisis is seems to be intensifying. So what what are the repercussions? The repercussion of that will be economic crisis. And hence, in future, more and more investment demand of gold is likely to hit the market. So, uh, whatever is going on in Europe is very bullish. For today's evening session, to be very precise, I would recommend that 61,850, silver, one should go short. Uh, gold around 50,950 uh, to 50,980, one can go short. Put a stop loss of very strict stop loss for both. For silver, put a stop loss of 60 to 250. For gold, put a stop loss of 51,80.90 and expect some pullback. So, the reason I'm recommending this strategy is that dollar index is strengthening. Number one, US bond yields, 10 year bond yields are above 80, 80 pips. That is also slightly bearish and no evidence and signal of fresh stimulus. Mm. This three reason makes me believe that um, uh, you can adopt that strategy for the evening session. Right. And overall with this, what's the sense that you pick up with regards to base metals? Uh, so even base metals, uh, my view is that uh, the upside Im immediately should not go on with the re-emergence of uh, the new cases in Europe and strengthening of dollar. So I would recommend to go short in November contract of copper at 534, stop loss of 537, and target should be 529 to 530. So that is my strategy for copper, even nickel. So remember, whenever uh, you see uh, any negative news coming from Europe, that is sentimentally has a negative impact because majority of the stainless steel mills, mm. uh, which are located in Europe, so whenever negative news regarding Europe comes, nickel tends to underperform. Mm. So, so uh, you can go short in nickel at current market price for the downside target of 1140 and place mm. a very strict stop loss of 1164. Right. And overall with regards to where crude oil is concerned, on the back of low demand, you are seeing a dip that's coming in with regards to crude futures clearly. Uh, do you expect this downtrend to continue? And if yes, uh, is there a short sell strategy coming in on that front? Yeah, so my view of oil has gone wrong. So I was expecting a sharp up move, but it has gone down. Uh, two reasons. One is that Libya has started uh, its production in weekend. So that is one of the major reasons why oil is down by 2.5% today. And another reason is the risk aversion in equity market. So today, what we are seeing is that DAX future is down by two and a half percent. Future is down by hundred percent. So uh, the the dollar index is strengthening. Number one, 
the libya's production is restarted and hit the oil market which was not the case on friday so mm-hmm. that that news basically dented the senti- sentiment so i think uh, for today evening session uh, the strategy is to remain short 2890 levels to go short good levels to go short uh 29 20 25 put a stop loss and 28 40 a kind of levels which you can see during evening session so because of risk aversion in the financial market i am expecting oil to remain under pressure along with the libyan output resume mm. and that is also sentimentally putting a lot of pressure on oil so that's my trading strategy for uh, commodities right and anything on natural gas uh, kunal yeah so there is a uh, yeah so natural gas uh, i generally uh, I, i was of the view that it should go up it is nothing to do with the what is going on in us so gas october contract one can go long for the upside target of 224 tomorrow will be the expiry so 224 225 should be the target and put a strict stop loss of 217 uh, there is a question that the dollar index is going up and bullion is also going up okay so it's a very good question so generally i when i when i took uh, all the training sessions recently i said that the correlation of dollar index and gold is generally 70 to 75% but it doesn't necessarily mean that if dollar index is strengthening it doesn't mean that gold should uh, go down only gold is moving up on the back of new covid cases which are which are coming okay so new covid cases in europe and the way they are spiraling it seems that europe is on the verge of outbreak of second wave of covid-19 crisis and that is very 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 bullish news for gold from the long term point of view so if i am an investor and if i see that again the problems are reemerging in europe so what does it mean that two months one month down the line europe will have to come up with another stimulus correct it's a very bullish sign for gold from the long term point of view so that's why gold is moving up i am again telling everyone uh, my view on gold and silver is not bearish whatever recommendation i am giving you is for uh, the, the fundamental of gold silver is no way it is they are not bearish at all so uh, i also have to keep in mind that people are joining this webinar for evening trading strategies uh, so my recommendation which i gave today is just for the trading and i have given strict stop losses for the short position which i have given please maintain that and uh, you can book the profit whenever it goes down so uh, i am not expecting a major spike if there is a stimulus deal then gold will go up by 1000 rupees and silver will go up by 2000 rupees so just wait for that and uh, just uh, let me get back to you uh, we will update in the group if any possibility of stimulus is coming tonight then i will update that in our group right so that's with regards to where the commodity markets are concerned thank you kunal so much for giving us those strategies and those views thank you participants for joining in as well